I am in the freezing town of Barrie, Ontario, Canada. At a McDonald's, I just did the uh, the jalapeno uh, McChicken. Thanks to every single one of you guys who gave me the heads up. I've been a hermit for the last week, week and a half. Uh, stay, staying at home, editing for Carl's fishing show, uh, doing my own thing. Uh, of course, last week we went to uh, the state, so I used up uh, some of my time doing that, not editing, um, but not also noticing what was going on in the world of fast food. So thank you very much to all the people who uh, gave me, uh, sent me messages through Messenger, and uh, emailed me, and, and people who know my. Um, my cell phone numbers text me so thank you very much to every single one of you guys because that sandwich was phenomenal so i hope you guys uh try it give it a shot let me start this car because my ooh, my steering wheel is freeze or sorry my windshield is all frozen up uh this is what it sounded like when i started my car after like five days of not driving actually it's probably about seven days Nope, five days I'm not driving my car, sitting in minus 25 degree weather. This is what that sounded like. Yeehaw! Time to pack up, get all this stuff into the bag. Gotta do some shopping, get some stuff done. Uh, Carol's 50th birthday party is happening on Saturday so if you didn't get the invite I apologize uh, let's put that in there and then uh, we will move on I'm not sure what I'm gonna do first I definitely I, I bought an item in the States for a member of my family and it cost X amount of dollars and it almost cost half the amount in shipping fees to get to our house. But it got there, everything's fine. I'm like, you know, I needed to get this thing. And, uh, and then about two, three weeks later, I get another piece of information. Let me turn on the defrost, there we go. From uh, UPS for uh, them doing their declaration or whatever they do um, and it was another 40 something dollars on top of everything else for them to do the border crossing thing what the hell is it called I always forget what it's called the customs brokerage yeah it's 46.90 so when I first got it I'm like what like why don't why don't companies that send you something tell you that it's going to do that because I, I order lots of stuff from the states and this is the first time in a very long time that I've gotten uh, a brokerage fee so maybe because it was the size of the item because it was quite tall and about that round uh, like that kind of a box shape and uh, maybe it's because of that I don't know just let me know in the comments below all right let's get some shopping done I'm trying to figure out how to pay this because uh, I tried to do it online and it wouldn't. Total can I pay it here? Yes, you can pay here. Perfect. Yes. All right, so the customs. What, what it comes down to is don't order anything from the United States, especially if it's coming to you from UPS because. I get stuff shipped to me all the time from the United States and, and I've never, or, or it's been a very, very long time since I've gotten one of these. I'm just surprised I, don't, I got it. So yeah, the, the shipping was like $39. And then on top of the shipping, it was another $46.90, which this and thing superseded how much the actual item costs by quite a bit. <laughs> all right, next stop. So there's the party store. I'm going to go in there and get some uh, party supplies for Carol's birthday. We've got a lot of stuff already, uh, but I want to buy like kind of balloon arrangements 
for the tables and then two maybe uh, big bouquet like you know seven foot bouquets of, of uh, balloons I'll, I'll hopefully i'll have time to to uh videotape some of the stuff that's happening on saturday so uh stay tuned for that vlog let's go in and get some stuff got all the balloons ordered I'm gonna have six small table bouquets and then two very large bouquets at the front apparently there's a helium shortage right, ac right across Canada and they won't let anybody buy more than 50 balloons and we have less than 50 so whew, that would have sucked if I needed more all right let's uh, go to the next place next stop mountain equipment co-op I gotta buy some shoes for rock climbing the other ones have holes in them. climbing shoes for tonight. Look at those sexy beasts. He says, try them out. I tried them on in the store, obviously, and uh, just a tad tight. They're supposed to be a, a bit tight, and I, I'm the type of climber who likes to wear my shoes the whole time I'm climbing. I don't like keep taking them off. So, I usually don't buy this brand. I usually buy the 510, but he said these are what he buys and this is what he likes and this is why he likes it. So he said, if you don't like them, bring them back. So thank you very much, Mac. It's time to go home. <laughs> 